Repent, New Orleans, for your drunkenness and your addiction. Repent for your sexual immorality and your celebration of debauchery. Repent. Do you know Jesus? What will you say when you stand before him? Repent for the witchcraft. Repent for the false religion and the sorcery. Repent before it's too late, my friends. Your soul is hanging in the balance. Do you know Jesus? We are desperate for your soul. We don't want you to perish. Do you see the streets? They're empty. Look at what the hand of the Lord hath wrought and let it wake you up. Let it wake you up. We're asleep. We're walking in darkness, the blind, leading the blind. And the Bible says that if we do such, we will fall into a pit. We have to wake up. It's your soul in the balance and I care about you. I don't want you to perish. Only God can empty these streets, my friends. Remember Katrina. Remember what has happened before. We have to stop making the same mistakes. What happened when Noah got into the ark? The flood came. The rain fell from the ground. The deep waters flowed. And every man, woman, and beast perished. The end of all things is upon us. Judgment is coming ac across our land. Judgment is coming. The earth will be burned up with fire and he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. And those who do not belong to him will not be with him in eternity. We must repent, New Orleans. We must seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let us turn to the Lord and he will have mercy. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For he has said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. That's from the mouth of God Almighty. He'll give you beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. When's the last time you saw these streets empty? Do you feel the tension in the air? We're so afraid of this coronavirus, and yet we're not afraid of the one God who has the power to cast your eternal soul into hell. Our soul is eternal. It's either going to be with God forever, or it will be in the lake of fire forever. There is no other substitute. It's not just perish and be burned up and become nothing. It's not die and a cloud of smoke from the dust you came to the dust you will return and your soul must account for the sins that you have committed against the holy God the good news is God sent his son Jesus to die for you he laid down his life on a cross by his stripes you can be healed we are born into this world as enemies of God, but through the sacrifice of Jesus, we can be reconciled to the Father and given the promise of eternal life. We can have eternal fellowship with God, and you cannot earn it. The wages of your life is death. The wages of your sin is death. There are none good, none righteous, not one. But Jesus gives us a way where there's no way. His blood pays the penalty for your sin. And through his blood, through his sacrifice, and by his grace, you can have eternal life with God. But we say no thank you because the alcohol tastes good, the women feel too good, the sheets feel too good. You're not going to find peace at the bottom of a bottle or in a stranger's bed. That little plastic bag runs empty, we find ourselves longing, empty and broken. Look at the streets, New Orleans. Tarot card readers, psychic readers, mediums gone. 
Our hearts have become hardened. We are an unbelieving nation. Repent, America. Repent, Louisiana. Repent, New Orleans. You celebrate your wickedness, and yet God has taken it away, even if for only a season, just to give you the opportunity to wake up. The opportunity to wake up from your slumber so that you might have life. The city known for voodoo and black magic and witchcraft has to wake up. There is power in the name of Jesus to break the curses from your life, to break the generational sin, the ancestral sin that runs deep. So much hurt, so much anger, violence, murder, racism. Wake up. Love Jesus. He will set you free. He is the rock upon which we stand. By His stripes we can find healing for our wounded souls. Repent, New Orleans. Now is the time to wake up from your slumber. The time is late. Wake up, New Orleans. Repent. Believe the gospel and be saved. Confess with your mouth that He's Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead and you can have life for your soul. Repent, New Orleans. Repent. You are known for your witchcraft and your sorcery, your black magic and your voodoo, Mardi Gras celebrations of debauchery and all sorts of sexual immorality, but God sees you. He sees your sin and the cup of His wrath has filled up. Repent before it's too late. Repent, my friends.